Hello everyone, my name is Neon, one part of that gaming couple, and this is episode 32! Hooray! So, we're still here at the item sorting. No, not item sorting system. It's the super smelter. So, we're at our super smelter. And this episode, I basically want to finish up all these walls and the roof so that it's nice and closed again and not all the redstone being exposed. And I was already starting a little bit, but then I noticed that the card, if you can see right, let me go this. So the card now is here waiting to pick up items, but this one is, well, not full, but there are some items there and the minecart is full as well, but it's blocked by this one, which it normally should do. But of course, no more items can go in there. So those who didn't see the last episode, if this hopper has items in it, it sends a signal to this one here and also to this piston. And then it locks that minecart hopper in place. Now that my card hopper is full, it should somehow reverse this one so that it's free to go or for whatever reason just be able to move this one. So I have a couple of options that I can do and I'm gonna see what works. So this is my first attempt at fixing that issue. So there's a redstone torch dead and this piston is now extended and then if the signal is high enough it should pick up that block and then push it back if the signal was not full but somehow it's not working because this minecart is completely full so it should have more than enough strength to go up this small redstone stair thingy but it's not and i don't understand why why is that not working it should I place a torch here. Okay, that doesn't work that. Place a torch here. This is extending and the card is going. Now there's no signal. There is signal. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, silly me. This comparator is picking up power from this hopper and not from the minecart hopper. So this is not gonna work. I need to get the better output from this one. But that's a full strength always because of this repeater here, which is not what I want. So I somehow need to get a extra signal from that comparator. Can I work under there? I could work under there. Get a signal from that one. And snake that up to the piston. Let me try that. With a comparator? No. So, to remove this one. Then the Comparator needs to go right there. So that now gets a signal. Yes. I need to snake that up. But that's already working. Now I'm just wondering about signal strength though. So I think I have finally done it. So wasn't that hard, I just needed to make sure that the signal was far away. So if I break this one here, the piston is extended and if I put some redstone dust here, it takes it up and the minecart goes on its way. And then the signal isn't high enough. And now it's going there, emptying out a little bit. Then it should come back here. And then it doesn't go. Why doesn't it go? No. 
that's still not how it should go. Ah, wait. So this one is empty now. So I remove this torch. It should just keep going. <laughs> that was just a temporary torch that I used to uh, make sure that this one ex kept extending. And now it's working. So there are no items in here. This one isn't full, so it just keeps going. And then if I go down again, so here are still some more cobblestone. If I deactivate it, it should send some items up that I'm now picking up. And then it's blocked again. Great. Uh, that took me more time than I wanted. <laughs> And now it's blocked, and then it was full, so it got extended. Great. So all I need to do now is cover up the roof, which might be a bit more work than I thought. So what you're looking at here is for the recirculation system of the bamboo. So as soon as I have enough bamboo and this one is going empty as it is going now, it should send a signal to get more bamboo sent out. But right now, the back one is already empty. Or the last four back ones are actually empty. And actually, I only need the signal from the last one. So I can just get a signal from that. And as soon as this one is empty enough, uh, it can start sending bamboo up again. Because right now, it's just a little bit too late. So you can see these ones are still fine. But these ones aren't filled up. So that means I can remove this all here and actually didn't have to remove, well, basically most of the walls. Oh, well, it will look prettier that way anyway. With the walls now all covered up, as well as all the roof. And also the inside is now finished. This project is done. So all I need to do is take down the scaffolding, clean up these shulker boxes, and I'm done. Hooray! Up to the next project. And now we're at the next project. So for the longest time, I couldn't figure out what to do with this roof. And finally, I've got an idea what I want to do. So I need to gather a lot of different dyes and colors because some of this will be in the different colors that we have available. And I also need some smithing tables and looms for this area here. Uh, it will mean I need to break these blocks, but it's fine. I can just place them back. That's for the item sorting above. So I think first thing I'm gonna do is get us some dyes. Of course now we've got all the different dye farms or dye resources. So everything should be easy to get or so I thought because I just remembered that I don't actually can get bone meal yet, which is of course is used for the white dye. However, I've got a wonderful sugarcane farm that I can abuse and get all the white dye using a composter. So I need to hook this up somehow to a composter. So I made a little bone meal factory uh, based on sugarcane. 
So it used to be two chests there and this line used to go into that one, into those chests. But right now it's going this way and the bone meal goes over this one, over these hoppers and these hoppers push the sugar cane into the composter and the composter sucks it or the hopper sucks it out of the composter and should put it in his chest. So all that I've got left is put one here and then it should start filling up, which it does. Great. And there's the first bone meal. So it's working. Not sure if this is the most efficient way to do it, by the way. Because as you can see, some items are passing over it, or not passing over it. It's basically the first one that does all the work. Some room for improvements for the next one. What happened? I thought I put a full stack of cactus in there. I should get a full stack of cactus out, no? Throw that there. I'm wrong. Something despawn or something? Oh, something went wrong with my system. This is full and this is full. Why isn't that piston moving? Does it work if I put a block there? Or why am I not getting a full signal? Hmm. Okay, I need to crawl under here find out what happened somehow found it there was a block here that was blocking signal from going up can I fix it easily you can to do it like this
so now that I have all the primary dice, or at least the materials to make the primary dice, I want to make all the different concrete blocks because some of this will require concrete blocks. And I also want to fix right behind here. I want to have the same concrete block behind there. Because right now it's just stone, it doesn't look so nice. And hopefully it will make it pop even more which color you're getting. So I want to make two stacks of each concrete color. Behold, the concrete powder rainbow wall of death? No. Anyway, so this is what two stacks of each concrete powder looks like. So all I have to do right now is put some water on top and then I can mine it all down. First I need to get up there. Can I get that in one go? Two rockets? Three rockets? Oh. Very disorienting. Can I land on it? <laughs> Just missed it. Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. I can do it. I can do it. Oh, even without smacking my face in it. So all I need to do is... And now to mine it all away. I should get a beacon here. Yeah, I'm gonna get the beacon. I just died, trying to get back up on the rainbow. Hopefully my elytra isn't up there, because otherwise I don't know how to get up there. Well, I could use scaffolding, I guess. Hopefully my items are relatively nearby. Doesn't seem to be. Hmm. Now, if it was raining, I'd use my trident to get up there. Alright, get some scaffolding. Now, I really, really, really hope that my elytra is up here. Wow, that's a lot of items. E yeah, thank god. Wait, does haste 2 not affect concrete mining? That's annoying. All that effort and dying or nothing. Hmm. So I added all the concrete underneath the shulker, no, not shulker buckets, just chests, uh, all the way around. And I also started working on the roof design. So this will be part of the roof design. So this quadrant will be like it is right now concrete. Then we will get, well, there's concrete right now, but there will be glass placed on top of it. The concrete behind is just for extra visual effect. And then on this side, I will use the terracotta. I'm not sure if I will use the colored terracotta or if I will use just the normal terracotta yet. And then on that side, it will be the same pattern. So the, basically the rainbow style, but then with wool. And for the middle part, I think I already said that will be smithing table and the loom. So this is done. Next up is getting all the glass. I've got some glass here, but not for everything. So again, I think I'm just going to get two stacks of each. Yeah, I think that sounds good. So now the glass ceiling and glaze terracotta ceiling is I decided to go for the ter glaze terracotta. Thanks to some people on Reddit asking around. They suggested I use this instead of the normal terracotta. And I also started working on the area in front of the dice, so with the smithing tables and the looms. However, I ran out of string for the loom, so that has to wait for next time. Luckily, I've got a spider spawner here, below here, that I can make a farm out of. And I also started working on the wool area. However, again there, I ran out of color, different color wools. So I'm also thinking about making a sheep shearing farm for that. Actually, I might do both in the next episode. But yeah, so far it looks pretty cool, I think. 
gives a really nice effect with all the different colored blocks. I like it. Do you like it? Let me know in the comments because this is actually the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Bye bye.